The Internet as we know it is in the process of being dismantled. It's known as Internet 2. More than a decade ago, a consortium of top tech companies, along with universities and government, began meeting once a year. And they openly said that they would expand the Internet, get everyone addicted to using it, and as soon as society was completely reliant on it, they would unveil the fact that it was really a DARPA surveillance control grid to track and trace all human activity. They were really smart. They give you Google Earth satellite system so that everyone gets accustomed on spying on each other. And now the government is using it to harass farmers, uh, to go after people building a uh, shed in their backyard when it violates zoning laws or to stop people from collecting rainwater. Your name is Tom. You live just off of 5th Street. Nice car, Tom. Nice house. What's not so nice is you owe Pennsylvania $4,212 in back taxes. They've come out and said Google was founded with NSA and CIA money. But it's a lot worse than that. Google has been caught in the United States, Canada, Europe, Asia driving around, not just uh, taking photos and video for Google Street View, that's just the cover, but with electronic mask illegally violating wiretapping laws, grabbing everyone's wireless data and decoding it. This is a private mercenary army. Just like there's more Blackwater uh, and DynCorp contractors in Iraq and Afghanistan than there are U.S. troops, Google is the quasi-private, quasi-governmental arm of this. Yahoo is to a certain extent and others. But Google from its inception with NQTEL, CIA funding, is nothing but a government system to take over the Internet and to steer and control the architecture of the growth and future growth of the web. Net neutrality is the Internet. You can go anywhere in the world. All sites are basically equal. You don't have to pay to get access to certain sites. Those sites individually can do that, but to get to their home page, you don't have to pay any extra money. And so the Internet bills you've paid, the cell phones you've bought, the computers you've purchased, all of this has funded the growth of this infrastructure. And now Google and Verizon and others are getting together and openly saying that they will allow companies to pay for premium access on these new networks. So it's basically like a toll road company. We have Centra of Spain coming into Austin, Texas, where I live, buying off politicians and then placing toll roads on existing roads. That's pretty much what this is doing. But not only will you have to pay to get access to all sites, sites will have to pay Google and Verizon and others. All the big telecoms are talking about doing this to be able to get access. So that allows them to censor what you're able to see. And they may not even allow you to pay them so that you can have access to the entire web. And separately, we now have the Internet kill switch passing out of committee, very close to passing the Senate. It's already passed the House. And the government says we may have to shut down the Internet to save it. So they're taking the Internet and turning it not into a free encyclopedia of the world, something always growing, uh, that is truly democratic, where ideas are on a level playing field. No, they have become completely panicked by the fact that the new media in the last year and a half, and they admit this, is now bigger and more powerful than the mainstream media. The mainstream media has been caught lying about WMDs and so many other issues. They have little or no credibility. In fact, it's at all-time lows. So you have this perfect storm of major corporations who are getting their butt kicked by the free market on the web and the government who's being discredited worldwide all coming together, whether it's in Australia or England or Canada or the United States or communist China, the same systems of control are openly now being implemented. The FCC is saying they're going to regulate the Internet. We've got the Federal Trade Commission saying they want to tax the web. And we've got Google and other major providers coming in and saying that they're basically going to have a hostile takeover of the web as we know it and kill it. All it's going to be is basically like a glorified Netflix where you have a few thousand choices or a glorified cable system where you can only get to the big mega establishment sites and won't be able to get to the alternative sites. The Internet 2 Consortium admits that this is their plan. In fact, their slogan is, the Internet is dead. 
and they celebrate that they are killing the old, free, open, organic Internet and forcing you onto this corporate Internet. It's very similar to what happened about 90 years ago. Uh, they had just developed radio. It had become popular. A lot of people were using it. And the FCC came in and shut down the spectrum and only allowed select corporations to be involved. But they could argue that there was a limited spectrum then because it was broadcast. It was going through the air. This is different. The Internet is unlimited. And they can't stand the fact that Infowars.com and PrisonPlanet.com and many other alternative news sites are now dwarfing some of the largest newspapers in the world. The dinosaur media is scared, and they're striking back. They're coming in to defend their monopoly. And so if you want to protect the Internet, if you want it to survive, call Congress, call your House members, your senators, and tell them, do not end net neutrality and go after Google and others uh, for the serious crimes they've committed, driving around, seizing people's wireless transmissions. The good news is they've been criminally indicted in several countries. On a side note, Hal Turner, the admitted FBI asset that I exposed more than five years ago, has now been convicted in federal court of threatening judges. And they admitted, the FBI did, in those court proceedings that he was a national security asset and was doing what he did under orders. But still the jury convicted him. And they use people like Hal Turner and others to demonize the alternative media and to use it as a pretext to start curtailing speech. Europe has already done it. Australia is moving to do it. So let's not let the system use these trolls and provocateurs as another way to demonize the web. This is all being done in the name of protecting us, keeping us safe. We see articles every day that the government's got to pass the Cybersecurity Act and have the power to start censoring or completely shutting down the web because Al-Qaeda or somebody else might hack into the nuclear power plants. There's just one big problem with that. Even the Wall Street Journal has reported on the fact that key infrastructure, military bases, B-2 bombers, coal-powered plants, nuclear plants, submarines, they're not hooked into the Internet. They have Internet in the facilities, but their key infrastructure is on its own internal systems. It's not true. It's a hoax that terrorists are going to bring down the Internet. And finally, I'm concerned about a false flag terror attack. Not only are they lying about the fact that hackers can get into infrastructure and shut it down, the Pentagon admits that they're running drills of attacking themselves. And if you look at their past activities and their mindset, this is tailor-made for a false flag staged attack on the web, which will give them the pretext to exercise all this control that they're now preparing to impose on the web. The denial is over. This is really happening. Get the word out today. Send this video and the links below to everyone you know. And let's keep the Internet free and open. The system is scared for a good reason. The population of the planet is using the Internet to really educate themselves and to rediscover liberty and freedom. And the would-be tyrants are scared. They want to keep their corrupt system going. Thank you for watching.